Kenny was my first idol. I had two. I had Kenny and John Barnes. And I grew up wanting to be Kenny Dalglish. I grew my hair in the back and let it go long because of him. The first Liverpool kit I had, the yellow one, and my mum managed to get a red seven to put on the back. Uh, that yellow kit was iconic for me. I mean, Kenny was a player that I looked at and wanted to be because he could do special things, as we just heard, you know, the, the beautiful passes, the benders in the top corner on either foot, and that big smile as well was infectious. I, I, Kenny was a, an idol. So when I actually was fortunate enough to sign for Liverpool and then be around the club and get to meet him, it was, it was a bit surreal, I have to say. Nervous, nervous. You know, and then to be comfortable enough to bump into Kenny a couple of times, even later, in, and then be able to talk to him, seeing him many times at various dues and even walking through shopping centres in the past, you know, it just, just being able to talk to him on a level and have some sort of respect is from him. And, and the fact he gave me his time was just something I never dreamt would happen as a kid. But probably the best story with Kenny is that I, I was at Crew in my last season playing really, really well, scoring a lot of goals. I was living at my mum's at the time. And I've told this story before, so I'll keep it brief. But I got a phone call on that landline. Uh, I think I had a mobile, just maybe, maybe, maybe not then. I can't remember. They were just coming into, you know, the big bricks. Yeah. So the house phone goes, and it's a Scottish accent saying it's Kenny Dalglish. So there'd been a little bit of speculation, being manager of Newcastle. I told him where to go. In no uncertain terms. Yeah, because I thought it was one of the lads having a wind-up. <laughs> Put the phone down. Phone goes again, same again. Told him where the phone down, done. Not even thought a sec... Didn't for one second think nothing more of it. Nothing. Just thought, not entertaining that. Next day, same, similar time, even in time, phone goes again. Ends up being Kenny. Saying, do you want to go Newcastle? Now, I mean, obviously at that point, it's like apology mode, isn't it? My idol, I've just disrespected, which he laughed about and understood. And he was telling me I wouldn't meet at Newcastle, but crew weren't entertaining the fee. It was middle of the season. So I'd have to go in. I spoke to Dario, cut a long story short. He told me I wasn't going. The fee wasn't big enough. And actually Liverpool wanted me at the end of the season. So all of a sudden I've gone from being a lower league player enjoying my football, to having a phone call with Kenny Dalglish, thinking Newcastle want me, to then Liverpool wanting me as well. My, <laughs> my, my world changed. <laughs> and then, of course, later, when I got to meet Kenny, when I was at Liverpool, he, you know, he said to me, you made the right decision. Mm. And I was like, I know. <laughs> um, but, but he was always warm-natured, great humour, always had a smile. The thing with Kenny, when you're in his presence, you never know when he's joking or being serious. And because you've got so much respect for him, you don't want to automatically assume something he said is humorous if he was being serious. Mm. So there was always that nervousness with me and still would be when I see Kenny.